What's up guys? This is going to be the first non-Barry McCockner video up on the YouTube channel. Um, I don't know if I'm going to put this on Instagram yet. Um, that'll be decided later, I guess. But this is going to be my wish list for the new the new EA, EA Sports College football video game. Um, you know, I'm really excited for the new game, but there's a ton of things I would like to see put in the game. And so I'm going to let y'all know what those are in this video. So I've broken this down into six different categories and the first category is going to be miscellaneous. So these are just a bunch of things I wrote down off the top of my head that I didn't really have like a category to put them into. So it's just a bunch of different things. Um, but let's just get right into it. So the first thing I want to see in the new game, and this one's really obvious, is real players. And I'm like 99% sure they're going to have real players in the game. Uh, NL, in a, NIL legislation should get passed probably this year, I'd assume. So they'll definitely be real players in the game. But I just wanted to get that like the first thing I said, just because obviously I want to see real players in the game. So continuing down the list in the miscellaneous category, next thing I have is playoff. Um, so obviously I want to see the playoff in the game. It'll definitely be in the game. Some of these things aren't necessarily like a wish list items. They're just like things I'm looking forward to. So I'm definitely looking forward to the playoff. Um, and I want that playoff expandable. So, you know, you can have four teams, eight teams, 16 teams, you know, maybe even something crazy like 64 teams. I'll talk more about that in the customization category. Uh, but continuing, we got the transfer portal. That's obviously going to be in the game as well. Um, just kind of to what extent, how is that going to work? I would like to see it in Road to Glory and Dynasty. So like in Road to Glory, you'll be able to transfer, which you weren't able to do in NCAA 14, which is kind of weird, honestly. But that's definitely something they should add for this upcoming game, um, being able to transfer schools through the transfer portal. Um, and then you should also be in Dynasty. So your players could potentially leave and go to a different school. But then more importantly, like more impactfully, you could look at the transfer portal and see guys transferring from other schools and you could try to recruit them to your team. So that would be super fun, super cool. That does definitely, those definitely will be in the game. It's just, like I said, to what extent, like what can you do with the transfer portal? Um, continuing, so I want to be able to switch between like the college football playoff and the BCS. Um, so we've only had the BCS in video games with uh, like into play 14, into play 13 those games um and so now we'll have the college football playoff but i know some people prefer the bcs or maybe you you know you've done you've done seven dynasties with the college football playoff in the new game and now you want to just you know get, play an old bcs dynasty for whatever reason you know be able to switch between those that would be really cool really nice um more immersive atmospheres this one's kind of big i know it's in the mis miscellaneous uh section but this this is so big bro like Literally, when you if you've been to games in real life at college football games, really any sports event, um, you can walk into different events, different stadiums, and it just feels different. Like an Alabama game is going to feel different than a Penn State game, and an Ohio State game is going to feel different than going to the swamp, you know, at Florida or whatever. It's going to feel different, and and that, that's awesome. You know, it's so cool that the the traditions, the atmosphere at these different places. So just being able to, you know, in whatever ways they can create that in the game, you know, it might be kind of hard, but just so you, so the uniqueness at these different places. So with the fans, and I've seen a lot of people saying rushing the field, that definitely needs to be in the game for a more immersive atmosphere, you know, huge upset and the fans rush the field. I'm thinking back to, it's probably actually the kick six um, in Auburn rushed the field, all the fans, and they, they tore down the goalpost. Like, that's so cool. Imagine that in the game. Uh, it just feels so, you know, fun, exciting, like just crazy. That definitely needs to be in the game. So traditions, like I said as well, so like Mississippi State cowbells and live mascots, you know, like Auburn and Texas, you know, uh, Penn State whiteout, the jump around with Wisconsin. And then I just said stadium sounds because, you know, like I said, these stadiums are different. They sound different. So if you can capture that in the, the in the game, that would just be super cool, super unique. Um, continuing different broadcasters. So this is one other people have been asking for a lot as well. So we only had ESPN and NCAA 14. And how cool to be to have ESPN, ABC, CBS, NBC, Fox, all these Fox especially, you know, Gus Johnson. Oh, dude, Gus Johnson is so good at his job. He's just so enjoyable to listen to. Um, he definitely needs to be in the game. So even if I don't think they'll have, if I had to guess right now, they probably all have like two. I just don't know if I see them, you know, dishing out the money to get the licensing for the other ones. Um, but they could. But, you know, at least two, just more than Instantly 14. Just, you know, if we could have Kirk Herbstreet and um, Chris Fowler, but then also, have, you know, Gus Johnson and whoever else like it would just be so cool and unique and refreshing to have these these different guys you know so because the big 10 you know is fox and then 
SEC, CBS, and so you know if we could have these different these different broadcasting crews for these different games, it would just be very. I mean, it would just be it would feel you know so realistic, which is what what we want from this game, right? So next, I got historic teams and all-time teams. So historic teams would be like real teams that existed. So like 2019 LSU, um, 2004 USC, 2001 Miami. You know, all these teams would be super cool to play with. Um, especially the ones we didn't get to play with in video games. So like 2019 LSU, like I just said. Um, maybe like a 2017 UCF that went undefeated. You know, that would be super fun to play with. Especially starting a dynasty with them. Imagine, imagine starting a dynasty with 29 LSU. 2019 LSU, but you're you know playing with them in a 2023 season. That that would be super fun. Um, and then all-time teams. So you know you you're piecing together different players from different teams for a specific program for a specific school. So like you know Alabama could have two at quarterback, and then uh, Julio Jones, but they also have Devonte Smith at wide receiver. Different things like that. That would be super fun. Um, I need to hurry this section up. It's gonna be kind of long. But uh, we got FCS schools next. Definitely need FCF schools in the game. Um, I don't know if they're going to just because you know that's a lot of work. But they used to do it back in the old NCAA games. If you if you used to play like I remember in 2004 they had it, 2006 they had it. I don't know when they stopped, but in the old ones they had it, and it'd be super cool to see them bring that back. Uh, the last two things I have in the miscellaneous section is mascot mashup. That definitely needs to be back from NCAA 14. It's just a fun game mode that you know you can just sit down and chill and laugh at. Um, and then last thing, it's not really in the game, but just multiple covers so that's something we haven't seen before as well so you know especially if uh, players can get paid which presumably they can um, they will be able to if you had I mean it, it'll be t depend who's playing at, at that point but I don't know like a Tank Bigsby or you know Caleb Williams who's the number one quarterback that going to Oklahoma you know if you have the multiple uh, covers and then maybe have older covers from people that didn't get their cover like the Heisman winners Devontae Smith you know Joe Burrow these type guys um, it'd be super cool to see because like if you're an LSU fan you can buy the Joe Burrow one if you're an Alabama fan you could you know buy the Devontae Smith one so that'd be just another cool thing that would be nice if they added so that's the whole miscellaneous section I have so these these next ones are going to be more specific uh, so the next section I have is Dynasty. So obviously Dynasty mode is definitely going to be in the game. You know, it might be different. Who knows? Ho hopefully they don't screw it up or anything. But Dynasty will be back in the game. So here's the things I have for it. Uh, more in-depth recruiting. And so one thing, InSplay 14 was a, it was, a, it was a cool recruiting system with the point. You know, it was, it was simple. It was easy to understand. But the thing that it lacked was the depth. And, you know, it, it was for me, like, it's fun to, you know, make the phone calls or whatever or send the email, the text or whatever to the recruit. Um, I think that's just, you know, it's more realistic, it's more fun. So I would love to see them have the more in-depth recruiting, but I understand that some people don't want that. They would rather just have like a point system to where it's easier, quicker. And for that, like you could just, why they could just add two systems, right? You could, like when you start the dynasty, when you have to pick all your settings you want, it could ask you like which system you want to use. And then you would just, you know, you would pick whichever one you want to use. So next in the dynasty section would be hire assistant coaches. So instantly 14, we were not able to hire our own assistants, which was kind of weird. Um, it'd be nice if you could. So like, I mean, think about it. Like imagine you're the head coach at, I don't know, Florida and Lane Kevin gets fired, or, you know, for whatever reason, Ole Miss, and you can go out and snag Ole Miss, or you can snag Lane Kiffin as your offensive coordinator. Like how cool would that be? I mean, that's basically what happened. Uh, he went to Alabama. You know, imagine if you could snag an offensive-minded coach like that and then it would help your offense, you know, improve. That that would be really nice to add. Um, I already mentioned this one, but use historic teams in Dynasty. You should definitely be able to do that. That'd be cool. Um, this one's interesting. I said fantasy draft. <laughs> that might sound weird since it's college, but I mean, if you're gonna have the real players in the game, like especially with the real players in the game, it'd be fun. Just like it might not like you might not call it a fantasy draft. I don't know. You could just like randomize the teams, but just like move players to different teams. I think that would be. Uh, definitely a cool addition um, and then uh, NIL in recruiting so the name image likeness that's the legislation that's going to get passed um, it'd be cool to see how that that works in recruiting because it, it's definitely in real life going to affect recruiting like being able to say hey I at USD we're in Southern California there's so many opportunities for you know advertisements and commercials and companies to reach out to you to make money for these athletes and so that should definitely be in the game you know one of my pitches if i'm at a 
big time school like hey if you come here your name's gonna be super advertisable like if that's even a freaking word <laughs> you're gonna be able to uh it's gonna be very marketable there we go it's gonna be very marketable like we can market your name you can get endorsements and different things and make money um and then in dynasty it'd be cool if you could see if they had two-way players so guys that played on offense and defense because i mean that happens in real life every now and then might as well put in the game um and then unlockable uniforms and really this is not necessarily just for dynasty for the game in general um something to work forward to like uh, you know, you have to do a certain thing in a game, throw this many yards or whatever, and you unlock this, this jersey. Just, it'd be cool if you could, like, and I mean, I don't mean like current jerseys. I mean like old jerseys, like throwback jerseys that they don't wear anymore, but if you could like unlock them, that'd be pretty cool. So that's going to round out the dynasty section. So the next section, the next category is road to glory. Um, and so I vaguely said more immersive, but basically what I mean by that is, Road to Glory, Inspire 14, and Inspire 13, Inspire 12, all those, they were fun, but they progressively got less, you know, immersive, and it was just basically like, you went to practice, you played the games, you upgraded your player. I would love to see, you know, academics involved, um, all these outside, uh, like, forces affecting how you play, I don't know, um, you have a girlfriend, I don't know, you have bad grades, you, whatever, um, but, and I guess going along with that could be like a storyline, but... I don't really care for storylines that much in like in 2K and Madden or whatever. I would rather just skip the cutscenes. But if I know some people would really like that addition if you had a storyline. Just if you do add the storyline, I better be able to skip the cutscenes. In 2K17, the first time playing through my career, which nobody really plays through it two times usually, um, at least with the storyline they don't. Like you couldn't skip skip the cutscenes. You literally have to sit there and watch these like some of them were like five minute long cutscenes like that. <laughs> you better not do that. Um, but yeah, so a storyline would be interesting. Um, unlockable items. So I felt like in Inspire 14's Road to Glory, there wasn't much to like to work for. It was kind of like you just, like I said, you just play the games and upgrade your player. I would love to make it where you have to get like XP, you have to level up your guy or whatever, and then you unlock the visor, or then you unlock this helmet, then you unlock these cleats, whatever. Just, just like something to work forward to, to where it's like, you have to actually try harder, I guess, or like care more. Um, and then going along with that, harder to upgrade your player because it, it your freshman year and you already maxed out at 99 on Heisman difficulty. Like it's it's not it wasn't that hard to upgrade your player, make it harder to where you have to play longer and different things like that. Um, again, nil in this game. I'm talking about outside forces. Imagine if you could you could get an advertisement, like you get a sponsorship. You could be in commercials and different things like that. You'd be on a billboard, like. That'd be super cool, but if you're like too focused on that, too focused on making money or whatever, then it might affect how you play, it might affect your rating or something like that. Um, so then, next thing I have for Road to Glory is multiple years of high school, so maybe not just your senior year. If you don't want to play multiple years of high school, you only play, want to play one, want to go to college, you could do that as well. But like, if you want to play your junior year as well, um, to make it, you know, harder, longer, whatever, you could do that. Um, and then it, you, it would see, like, your recruiting would take longer, so... You wouldn't be in your first game. You're not going to be getting an offer from Bama, right? You might have to wait till like halfway through your senior year. Um, I would like to see an off season in Road to Glory, whatever that looks like. You know, training camps, practice, different things like that. So that'll finish the Road to Glory category. So the next category is new game modes. So you know, in in Play 14, basically all I played was Road to Glory and Dynasty. I didn't really play Ultimate Team ever. Um, so I would love to see new thing, new game modes that we could play. What I have down is owner mode, which I guess probably want to be called owner mode, maybe like athletic director, AD mode, something like that. But the reason I called it owner mode is because I loved MVP Baseball 2005. That game is so freaking good. And they had owner mode where you literally, you set the ticket prices, the, the prices for the corn dogs, the hot dogs, the ice cream, all these things, which I not necessarily had to do all that. But the coolest thing about that mode was you got to you got to build your ballpark it was so cool like so you'd start out and your ballpark would look like this spring training field like there wasn't that many uh seat there wasn't much seating uh it was just plain the scoreboard was laying there wasn't fireworks or anything like that but then as you got better and you got more money you could upgrade these things so how cool would it be if you had something like that where you you smart you start as like a small school and you get to upgrade your stadium as you get bigger and you, you get more funds as you start becoming a more successful program. I think that would just be super cool. Like, I just, it'd be so cool to be able to customize and like upgrade your stadium. I just, I love that. Um, and going along with that, so 
you could just upgrade your stadium and change your stadium, whatever, just as, as like a, a real team. So like if you're if you're Penn State, you can change your stadium or whatever if you want. But it'd be super cool to, if you had a game mode um, where you literally create a new team, a, a new school, you know, and you could start at the FCS level and you try to like get all the way up to uh, Power 5, SEC, whatever, and try to win a natty. Like that'd be super cool. And as I said, you upgrade your stadium and your program and your campus or whatever as you go. Um, so all-time team game mode, I was just thinking, somehow, like I'm trying to think of new game modes, right? So I was thinking of like, you go along, you have to like, it's like a challenge. You have to like play these games and as you, you beat these other like all-time teams or something, you unlock more players for your all-time team. So maybe you start out and your your team, it's not actually like the all-time team. It's like, I don't know, the, the fifth best all-time team for this, for your school or whatever. And then as you go, you try to create your all-time team. So you, you unlock more players. Um, and then mini games. So another thing MVP Baseball 2005 had was these super cool mini games. Add mini games. I don't really know necessarily what they would look like. I don't know. You have to throw a ball into the net and all these different things. But just just something that's different and unique and fun. Um, historic games. So I remember in Play 2004, they had these scenarios that like real life scenarios, like uh, Doug Flutie's Hail Mary, and right. So it would throw you in the game, and you have one play. That's all you all you have is one play, and you got to throw a Hail Mary and win the game. And just just to do that, you know. Just something different, like like I said, just we're just I'm just trying to get something new, you know, different, something fun there. Um, and then the last thing I had for new game game modes was online road to glory, which sounds like I don't know exactly how you do that, but we, we already had online dynasty. Imagine if you had online road to glory, where okay, I'm the quarterback at Bama, right, and I'm playing against another guy, a real person in in Ohio, in Ohio who's playing, who's the quarterback at Ohio State, and we literally face each other in an online online guy online game how like that's super cool i don't know exactly how that would work out but they definitely need to somehow add that so that's the new game modes uh category so here's the second to last category which is customization and this is probably the biggest thing i want to see is the customization so team builder was super cool and like a such a great addition to instablade 14 but put that in the game now i should be able to go into the menu and create a team and it's basically team builder in the game and a perfect example of this is 2k if you've ever played 2k the customization in that in that game when you like you can create a team and it is so like just you can do so much you can literally you get to upload any picture you want so you can put out any picture on your jersey any any logo any any ad like people just do gatorade and nike and adidas you know all these ads like office like the office you know on peacock tv you know and they put that on the scorers table or whatever and they, they can put anything any picture on the court like doing that for a football team for a for a college program that would be so fun so you can upload any picture any jersey any logo all that and you could do it on your you know like i said your jerseys but your stadium your traditions where you the city you're in the roster all these different things so you create the whole roster if you do that that like that's that's probably the number one thing i want in this game um customization going along with it create a player is pretty much you know I mean that's pretty standard need that um so more equipment and there will definitely obviously will have the new new helmets new jerseys new shoulder pads you know whatever they have in the game but you know just the style like you know the styles change like people have like a shirt hanging out below their jersey these days i don't even think i don't even think that you're supposed to do that i think that's like illegal now but you know, they still do it so putting stuff like that in the game like that just that looks i mean it's cool like right that's people do that because it looks cool right so you put that in the game um this is another big one i just recently thought of but i would love it uh create create and create slash edit bowl games um so you can just change the bowl games you can give it a new name and like i said upload a picture and there you go it's got a whole new a whole new bowl game um custom conferences again playoff customization so i talked so i was going to talk about this one uh later so here it is you know like i said you could do the regular four teams you could do 18 16 teams uh, and then how cool would be if you could do like a March Madness, like 64 team tournament, like that'd be so cool. Um, and then if, if you could have like play in, play in games, you could have uh, tie, like if automatic bids, like if you win your conference, you're automatically in. Just all like so cool if you could do that and put that in all these things that I'm saying, like you need to be able to put them in Dynasty. So like these shouldn't just be like, like 
I can play a 16 team playoff and then once the playoff ends that's that's the whole thing like no I want that in dynasty mode right and then the last I have for customization is playbooks which they had that in the past but just be able to make my own playbooks and there's so much you could do nowadays with like RPOs and just how like crazy playbooks and plays have gone and how crazy offensive how efficient they are these days if you could do stuff like that in the game that would be lit all right last section I was trying to keep this under 20 minutes I think I'm right over but the last section is actually stuff I don't want to see, and so this will be quick. Um, I just got four things written down. The four things I have written down are Madden, Ultimate Team, Pay to Win, Microtransactions. I don't want this game to feel like Madden. I don't want it to play like Madden. I don't want it to look like Madden. Madden sucks. That <laughs> End of story. Madden. I don't want it to be Madden. Ultimate Team, and I said I, this is what I don't want to see in the game. Ultimate Team can be in the game. Ultimate Team will probably be in the game. I just don't want it to be the same old Pay to Win, Microtransaction garbage that it normally is I'm, I'm probably not going to play it but i just don't want to like i mean that's what ea does now they just make ultimate team pay to win that's where all their focus goes because that's all where they get all the money right and then that's the two things i just mentioned them pay to win microtransactions i don't want it to be pay a win if you're playing ultimate team if you're playing online whatever you better not be pay to win i better not have to drop a fat ton of cash to get the best cards right and then microtransactions you better not make me buy uniform packs that's garbage <laughs> that it's outdated system get rid of that you know, nobody's paying for DLC these days. You know, that's old Call of Duty. It's Modern Warfare 2. We want everything given to us. We pay $60 up front, right? And so then we expect the updates to be free. We expect all these things to be in the game, right? And I don't I don't say that to sound ungrateful, but it's like, like this is an exchange, and these are the things we want. We want the game to be good. The games were great in the past, and that's all we want. We want to build off that, right? All right, guys. So that's going to do it for my wish list. Uh, it's pretty, pretty long, but, like, I'm serious about this stuff. Like, th this is... I love this game and I want it to be good, right? All right, thanks for watching. If you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you subscribe. I don't, like I said, I don't know if I'm going to do it on Instagram, but if I do put this on Instagram, uh, make sure you follow. All right, I'll see you on the next. Peace.